Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Elaine Quijano. And I'm Lana Zak. We continue to follow breaking news. The State Department has summoned the Russian ambassador to the U.S. to discuss the incident over the Black Sea. The Pentagon says a Russian fighter jet collided with a U.S. drone in international airspace. U.S. forces then brought the drone down in the Black Sea. The military called it a, quote, unsafe and unprofessional intercept. During a press briefing earlier, Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Pat Ryder said Russia does not have the drone in its possession. He said the interaction was uncommon. I think the key point here is that uh, while intercepts in and of themselves are not that uncommon, uh, the fact that this type of behavior from these Russian pilots, that is uncommon and unfortunate and unsafe. And so, uh, again, would echo General Hecker's call on the Russians to continue to fly safely. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin is with us now. David, what more are we learning about this incident? Well, this was a, a Reaper drone uh, which flies at about 300 miles an hour and it was conducting an intelligence collection patrol out over the Black Sea when it was intercepted by two uh, Russian jet fighters. Uh, with a top speed of uh, 1,500 miles an hour. So uh, the, the Russian fighters could run rings around the uh, the drone. And they started making uh, uh, close passes on it, buzzing uh, the drone. And when they would pass right directly overhead of the drone, they would dump fuel on it. And then one of the jets was making another pass, and he, and this time he cut it too close, and clip the uh, propeller of the drone, sending it crashing down into the um, Black Sea. The, the drone is a, a total loss. Uh, the, uh, according to the Air Force, the Russian fighter jet nearly crashed, uh, but apparently both the, uh, both the Russian fighters uh, survived the incident. So this is not the first time uh, the U.S. has conducted a, uh, an intelligence patrol o over the Black Sea, uh, either before or during uh, the war in Ukraine. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly uh, routine operation, and it's also fairly routine that uh, planes, sometimes they're unmanned, sometimes they're manned, will be intercepted by uh, Russian jet fighters. Usually, uh, those intercepts are uh, what the uh, military calls safe and professional. There's uh, there's nothing dangerous about them. They pull alongside, observe, and don't interfere with the uh, the flight of of the uh, American aircraft. This time they were clearly out to harass uh, that drone, and um, probably did not intend to clip the propeller because that was uh, extremely dangerous for uh, the pilot of that Russian jet. Um, but it just cut it a little too close and sent the, uh, the drone uh, down into the uh, Black Sea. Now, one of the capabilities of that Reaper drone is that it sends back <laughs> live video of everything it's uh, seeing. So all of this was captured on video, and we're waiting to see if the, uh, the Pentagon is going to release that video. Uh all of this is very interesting, David. Thank you for providing all this context. Luckily, uh, this was a, an unmanned drone, and we're not talking about any loss of life, but U.S. officials still called this a dangerous situation. This was in international airspace. Um, as you describe it, there was some level of Russian aggression, uh, at least towards this unmanned U.S. aircraft. So what happens now? Well, the U.S. will uh, obviously uh, protest this uh, to Russia, but um, when something like this happens, uh, you sort of got to get right back up on the horse and uh, send another patrol uh, aircraft out there, whether it's manned or unmanned, uh, I, I don't know. Um, but to establish the principle that, um, you, you know, you can't be chased away. These are these are international waters, and uh, they have uh, as much right to be there as as the uh, the Russian fighter jets. Uh, obviously, uh, Russia resents it because uh, the purpose of that uh, drone was to gather intelligence about 
uh, what the Russians are up to in Ukraine. Uh, David, you mentioned the fact that in the past, uh, it's not uncommon to have aircraft that may spot one of these drones and to essentially get a closer look, but that this time was different because of, as you described it, the dumping of the fuel on the drone and then the jet getting too close and clipping the drone. Um, if that's the case, I wonder, does this have any kind of uh, recent precedent? Has this happened before mm. in recent memory? I don't remember uh, a, uh, a fighter, a Russian fighter jet or any fighter jet uh, dumping fuel mm. on an American aircraft. Um, one of the other things uh, these jets were doing was you know, they'd come over top of, of the drone and after dumping the fuel, they would get right in front of the drone mm. and buffet it with uh, its uh, its jet exhaust, and uh, that is a uh, a fairly common technique. You you cut in front of a, a patrol plane, and then you uh, uh, you will hit the afterburners and uh, and cause uh, a wake that will uh, jostle uh, them around. That too is uh, considered unsafe. In these incidents, you, you sort of never know whether it was a hot dogging pilot who simply misjudged or whether this was a pilot uh, doing exactly as he had been told mm -hmm. That's um, the question. by his commanders. And when you just look at this, I, I don't know this, but when you just look at this, uh, if they're out there dumping fuel, I mean, this, this sounds um, much more premeditated than just a, a hot dogging uh, pilot uh, out to have a little fun. Right. And the question would be then, you know, following orders and who put those orders into place. And then the question is, what why? happens next? Why yeah. right now? All right. A lot of open questions. David Martin, thank you so much, David.